So uh, before we get to the Big 12, I want to alert you guys that you can get free plays every day by a text message. It's real easy. Um, even I can figure this out, and I'm kind of a moron when it comes to this stuff. Uh, but if you text token, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131, you will get back my free play for the day via text message. There's nothing else you need to do. Just do that, and you get the game. And Jim, same story with you. You get a free play every day via text message. Just text winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and we'll send you a free play right to your cell phone. That's winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. Well, let's look at the uh, Big 12, which is, I, you know, I think it's, I actually think it's the best conference in the country. I know it's a toss-up between them and the Big 10. I think the Big 12 has progressed more during the course of the season. Uh, and, I, you know, Texas Tech has improved. Baylor has gotten back on track. Oklahoma State looks healthy now. Uh, I think it's the best league in the country. And, therefore, it could be an absolutely great tournament. Kansas, Iowa State. Uh, a Texas team that can be dangerous even though they're young. Lon Kruger's Oklahoma Sooners, Oklahoma State, Baylor, Kansas State. That's a lot of good teams this conference. And uh, I know Kansas is the favorite, but Jim, I don't think they're automatic by any means. Well, no, they're they're not. And as you said, this is, I mean, the Big Ten and Big 12, I mean, they, there's a lot of good teams they're, maybe they're not great, great, great teams, but they're all right there. And, and, and they can do a lot of damage. And most likely, the national championship, the Final Four is going to show some teams out of these two leagues. And, you know, Kansas has been excellent. They, they, they've been a little overrated here and there because they don't cover the spread that much because the public, it's one of those public teams. But, uh, 20, 22 and 7, the Jayhawks have been a powerhouse team, uh, tops in scoring 80 points a game in, in the conference, uh, plus 10 scoring margin. Uh, this is a very solid uh, basketball team that can go a long way. The problem is when you're playing teams like Texas and Iowa State and, you know, the, these other clubs, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, now that they're back on track, Kansas State, it's tough to run the board. I mean, so you're going to have losses. But that just toughens them up for uh, for conference play. So this is going to be a very interesting con conference tournament. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what, uh, uh, I think Kansas is the favorite. That's not exactly a revelation. But it's not going to be a, a slam dunk. Oklahoma State has gotten it together. Marcus Smart's suspension uh, is over. He has gotten his game back on track. Nash, uh, good move by uh, by the coach, putting Forte in the starting lineup. Uh just makes them a little better offensive team. They lost a couple of, of key guys. Uh, big man got hurt uh, in the middle of the season. He's gone for the year. And, uh, and of course, they had a freshman guard uh, who was, got tossed out of the program. So, you know, it, it's, you wonder how good this team would have been if they had their full complement of players. But as it stands, I think Oklahoma State right now feels as though they can make a run at anybody. And you've got, you got NBA-quality guys in this team. Um, smart, obviously. Nash should play at the next level. Brown's a heck of a player. Uh, they're very athletic. And it looks like they're peaking at the right time. So that's a dangerous team. And so is Baylor. Uh, look, I, I don't, I don't think Baylor's good enough to make a run through the entire tournament, but they are capable of winning any game in the tournament. And the one thing Baylor's been doing lately that they have not done in the past, and this is somewhat impressive to me, they're actually closing games really well. Uh, that to me was a disadvantage to me. I, if I if I had a bet against Baylor and it was a really close game going into the last few minutes, I could walk up to the window and stand in line because Drew would find a way to lose the game. But it has not <laughs> lately. He's actually he's actually been really good at the end of games lately. So maybe he's figured some things out as a coach. And you know Baylor's a dangerous team uh, with with those good athletes they've got out there. Lon Kruger doesn't have the athletes that the other teams in the conference have. But we had him for uh, seven years here in Las Vegas. And, of course, he's had a great career at other schools. And, you know, there's not a better game coach out there than Kruger. He is exceptional. And so Oklahoma is going to be a dangerous team in any matchup because of just because of his presence and the fact that he's got a very smart basketball team. Uh, I don't think Texas is old enough 
I think their inexperience will get him come tournament time, so I'm kind of throwing them out. And Kansas State is, they're a grinder. Ugly basketball team, don't have the skilled position players to, uh, they don't have the skilled players to, to match up for three days with, uh, with the other teams in the tournament. I think you've got Kansas, uh, Iowa State, I don't think can make a run, they're too small. Kansas, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Baylor. Pick would be Kansas. I think Oklahoma State's got a real shot to win the tournament, though. John, what do you think? Well, I'd take a look at this Iowa State team uh, for a couple of reasons. One is that they, they had some question marks coming into the season because of some new players, and yet they've been phenomenal as far as this up-tempo attacking offense. They're number one in the nation in assists. They've been in the top ten in points all year. Two of the newcomers, Deandra Kane and Dustin Hogue, they really didn't know what they had with these guys. They were going to be complimentary players or, you know, or who knows what. Well, they turned out to be great players, particularly Kane, who's been a star, a huge cog to their success. They have been under the radar as far as odds makers over several years, 38, 23, and 1 against the spread. However, that has changed of late, which I will get to. They don't have a deep bench despite this up-tempo attack. One of the games they won was at Oklahoma State. It was a triple overtime game. As a dog, they won it 98-97. Remarkable with such a short bench to pull off a win like that. So when I try and put that into three games and three nights, they have the depth and talent to hang up over the, uh, the, that period of time. Probably not, but, boy, they, they were very impressive with that win at Oklahoma State. With that said, this is not a big team in the front court. And their defense is a major yeah, well. weakness. Yeah, and odds makers have caught up to them because they're now on a three and twelve spread run. So I would be careful about backing Iowa State. The odds makers are very much up on this team. The way I might look at them, though, in tournament play, is they're going to run and gun and bomb away from long range. Probably a good team, even the tournament, uh, to look at over the total. The um, one thing I mentioned about this Oklahoma State, and I've been writing them since Smart came back doing very well, playing very well, but they really only play six players. And yep. the, 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 the depth is, is remarkably weak. And if they get into a – and if, they, if you play them on day one or day two, you'd probably be all right. But, I mean, they're, they're going to be okay. But, you know, you can't go that long. You can't play the three games three days with, with six players. And they have no depth. Uh, so I think it's very dangerous to mash up with them early, but I think if you get them late, if they happen to last and you get them late, I think they're going to have problems. I think Bill, Bill Self is doing something smart too. Uh, you know, I, I suppose it could it could conceivably if they blow a game, it could cost them a, a top seed. But uh, Embiid, he's just, he's resting him this week. Now uh, he's he's had you know he's been a little bit beat up. Guys, uh, he's a physical player. Uh, they want him ready to go for the for the real big games that count. I, Self is clearly gearing his team for the NCAA tournament, and I don't know how much stock he's going to put into winning the Big 12 tournament. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm a little leery of backing Kansas, even though they're the best team. Uh, I, 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 you know, to me, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I can't read Bill Self's mind. We'll find that out. As we get into the tournament, but I think he's he wants to make sure that his team is at its absolute best going into the big dance. I don't know how much he cares about the Big 12 tournament. I mean, he's going to say he cares, but we'll see. Uh, this is a, this is a very to me this is a very tough tournament. I don't know that I can make a future bet here. Uh, I might. I mean, if you want a long shot, I think I'd take Baylor. Baylor's capable of winning any game. I don't think they're capable. The problem is, I don't think they're capable of winning three in a row. But you know, yeah, that's I don't want to be on the other. Yeah, yeah, it's it's tough. 